Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Johnston Sakwa from the Open Blessing Church, Nairobi headquarters, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. What a privilege, what an opportunity that God avails to us every morning to hear the Word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Opportunity that God has given us to hear his voice and his word. I want to pray and then we will hear the voice of our Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. Thank you for the gift of life and the opportunity you have availed to us again to receive your word this morning. I pray for understanding. I pray for revelation. I pray for impact this morning by the grace of God. Speak to us clearly, our Father. Through your spirit, O oh God, have your way and bless us, Lord, to rise up from where we are to a place that God you want us to be so we can be able to be uh, utilized in the plan that you have in the end time in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for every listener. Thank you, Father, even for the medium and platform you're using to convey your word to your people. Be a blessing to us this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning. Now, I want to speak about a subject I have titled in a question, Are you bound? Are you bound? Now, allow me first of all uh, to, to be able to define what bondage is, then we'll go to scripture. Bondage. Now, the meaning of the word bondage, uh, number one, is a state of being bound usually by compulsion. Another another definition is servitude or subjugation to a controlling person or force. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I would want to go with the second meaning, which brings into context what I want to talk about. Are you bound? Now, bondage is servitude or subjugation to a controlling person or force. Now, you could be engaging in issues. Even I, I clearly see that even debt, debt can be a bondage. I don't know how to describe the new um, mobile money application, but I think they are a bondage to many people. So even debt can be a bondage. That means you're under servitude or you're under subjugation to a controlling person or force. This debt bondage can also be equated to slavery. Now, the big question is, are you bound? Do you even know you're bound or not bound? Now, let's read scripture because it's very, very important for us to read scripture. The book of Matthew, chapter number 16 and verse number 19. In fact, let's start from verse number 18. Matthew chapter number 16, we're going to read verse number 18 and verse number 19 from the New King James Version of the Bible. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, two languages here, binding and losing. And the Bible tells us that you can bind something on earth, you can also lose something on earth by virtue of the power that we have been given through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if there is a losing, then there is bondage. And if there is bondage, then you can also be made free or loosed. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, it means also that we can claim things from the eternal kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, I want you to know, child of God, that there are many things that are binding people on the earth. I've given one demonstration. Debt can be a bondage. 
There are people who are struggling to get out of bondage, of debt. You have to borrow money from somewhere to pay another you know, debt. And so you are in a perpetual cycle of debt. Well, I know that we take loans to do development and plans, and I have no issue with that. All I'm saying is that when it becomes perpetual, that you have to borrow from one side to clear a debt on the other side, it means there is an issue. That we need to ask God to intervene. Now that's one angle. There are people who are also bound by certain characters, you know, certain characters that all characteristics or some kind of character in their life, which they are uncomfortable with, but they are unable to be set free from it. They are unable to help themselves to come out of it. There are people who lie at will. They are not comfortable with it. They know it is wrong, but they just can't help themselves out of it. The more they try to get out of it, the more they even do it. They are bound. There are people who are bound with sexual promiscuity. You know, I read something on the social media yesterday about a person who feels like they're in a place where they can't just help themselves. They know it is wrong. They know it's likely to bring problems either to them, sickness and disease, or break their families, or all these things. But they just can't help themselves. They can't just get out of it. The more they want to get out of it, the more they're stuck in there. It's a bondage and you need help. It's a bondage and you need help. You know? There are things, there are places you can't just help yourself. You, you don't want to go there, but you find yourself there. And even you ask yourself, how did I get here? How did I get here? There are also people who are bound by alcohol. You know, you can't just do without it. When you wake up in the morning, you're just feeling like, I can't do without it. You have lost money. You have lost your health. You've got issues in your marriage right now because of alcohol. And you know it's not the right path to pursue. But you just can't help yourself. It is difficult. You're bound and you need help. You spend so much money into it. You have lost opportunities. Some people haven't lost jobs. Some people cannot even be promoted because they can't just help themselves. They, they cannot do what they expected to do because they are simply bound by alcohol. And I'm not saying all these things to shame anybody, no. I just want to bring to your understanding that you have to know that this is a bondage and you need help. Praise God. There are people who have never stepped into church. They allow their spouses, their wives, they allow their children to go to church, but they don't go to church themselves. The devil has ensured they will never listen to the word of God that can bring a change in their lives. They are bound and you need help. Praise the Lord. They are bound. A lot of bondages exist in society today. A lot of bondages exist in society today. And I want to tell you that all these bondages can only be dealt with when we subject them to a superior power. Jesus gave a story and said, you cannot get into a house of a person and try to set people free until you, you, bound the, you bind the strong man of that house. Oh, hallelujah. There's nothing you can do to change the life of a man who is bound except you bring a superior power that can be able to overcome the bondages that are being perpetrated by the devil in the lives of people. There are also people who are what I would call medically sick. But there are also those whose sickness is because of the bondage of the devil. There are examples in the Bible about this. The examples in the Bible about this. So, these bondages are meant to derail you from arriving at your place of destiny. I am a student of destiny. I know that God 
has got a plan for people that he wants them to follow a path and get their place of glory. But the bondages introduced in the path are meant to derail, stop, or if possible, make sure you don't get at your place of destiny. But I've got good news for you. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound also in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. In other words, when we introduce a superior power in your life, things are going to change. And this morning we are going to make declarations. We are going to make great declarations because we believe the word of God is powerful. We believe our God is powerful and we believe that he can be able to get us out of any kind of bondage. Whether it's addiction, whether to alcohol or drugs, the Lord can and will deliver your life this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing which you're struggling with, that thing which you are unable to deal with, that thing which you know it's uncomfortable, it's shameful for you to share, and you are bound by it, there are people who are bound by the spirit of masturbation. There are people who are bound by, you know, things that are crazy. You don't want to mention them. And God is not interested to embarrass anybody, not at all. God is interested that he can speak into your life and bring the change that you need to get now in the name of Jesus. But you have to realize and acknowledge, do you even know that you're bound? Do you even know that you are under some kind of slavery, either to a person or a force that you do not understand? This morning, I want to speak the word of God into your situation. There are people, whatever they do fails. You get a job, you're sacked. You do a business, there's no succeed. Yeah? You're bound and you need help from God. You need God's divine intervention in your life so that you can be free and be free indeed. Praise the Lord. And so as we share the word of God this morning, we speak from a position of knowledge that God has given us divine power and ability to deal with issues. Praise God. To deal with issues. This morning, I submit to you the realities of our God. He says... And I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now this morning, I'd like to make prophetic decrees in our lives this morning. By the grace of God, may your miracle happen this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, people who are bound in debt specifically mobile money applications. I decree this morning in the name of Jesus Christ that be free from the bondage of debt. May God come through for you supernaturally and you will get out of servitude and the bondage of debt in the name of Jesus. As people who are suffering from addiction to alcohol and drugs, I speak to you this morning in the name of Jesus. And I decree that the chains of bondage of drug addiction and alcohol are being broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that are engaging in characters that are shameful to mention. Right now, I speak to that bondage in the name of Jesus. And I command that bondage to set you free. We break every chain of the enemy this morning in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. Be free. Those people who have never uh, found time to go to church and listen to the word of God because they are bound. There is a force that stops you from going to church. You want to go there, but you are bound. Right now, be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the mere desire, the spirit desire that God put in your heart. In the book of Genesis 2, 7, get up, arise, clean yourself up and go to listen to the word of God. Be free in the name of Jesus. There are very many other bondages. We declare freedom this morning 
We declare the freedom of God be free from every bondage this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you this morning for your word, for speaking to us, helping people to recognize the kind of bondages they could be in. But Lord, today we are free in the name of Jesus. Let miracles and testimonies, my Father, free flow in the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. And all this is for your glory and honor, our God. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host and your servant, Reverend Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription. I am from the Open Blessing Church headquarters, Nairobi, and I'm here to be a blessing to you every morning by the grace of God. May the good Lord be with you. The good Lord strengthen you. And we thank God for getting people out of bondages this morning. All the glory and honor goes back to God. Shalom. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God as we delve into more issues as the Lord gives us divine enablement. God bless you. And I love you all with the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.